Hey, what's up, everybody? Agamatsu today. Today, we're going to be talking about CK Chef. Is it good? Is it bad? We'll find out in this video. But before we get into that, addressing my last like CK hybrid video or Chef hybrid video, a lot of people were talking about how the classes that were fighting were pretty slow classes, and um, yeah, they didn't really seem that good at their classes either, which I understand that complaint. But do realize there are actually a lot of pretty good DK chefs out there who do know how to combo. I just don't think you see them as much as in Gaia because, like, why would they play when they could just probably play like uh, D Slayer or D Knight instead? but regardless i still think that hybrid was pretty good now going on to today's focus ck chef so ck chef has some nice advantages that dk chef doesn't which is really light piercer and impale um to be honest impale you know reduce their health light piercer pretty nice other than that you get the ck helmet which doesn't really matter at all so the thing a lot of people are going to instantly say is well a you don't have dragon blood so you're not going to be attacking as fast b you don't have spear crusher so you're not going to have that big damage but a lot of the time when you have that light piercer it's going to be easier to hit skewer because skewer kind of works like chain pull in a way where it's the second hit that applies those three like elegant slash like hits um but in reality the thing is, is that it's kind of hard to hit that move unless you get really close or like hit an m1 so it's fairly similar to how like d slayers will use an m1 and then right after you spear crusher to get like two hits in uh it's similar to how they do that but with light piercer it allows for a little bit more flexibility like with how deep knights will be going around using light piercer and then going around to combo and shit um so yeah that's the thing i like about ck chef in reality it is still kind of hard to like hit your opponents usually what i would try and do is you snap ignis then like light piercer when i think they're about to get up and try and hit the skewer afterwards which sometimes works sometimes doesn't when it's like shinobi because they'll just shadow rush right out of it um but other than that yeah the C of course it still does a lot of damage if you can land the combos uh, that's pretty much any spirit class whatsoever it's not too hard to hit it but again mobility classes will dance around you so that's a fair warning when it comes to fighting slower classes you will probably do a ton of damage though with ck chef if i were a navarin and i had to emulate one move it'd probably just be spirit crusher which would probably make this hybrid like do insane amounts of damage um and hunter's focus is still there to speed you up so you don't have to worry too much about losing dragon blood so overall uh i give this like uh, I give this hybrid maybe like a 7 to 8 out of 10. I don't know if it's better than DK Chef. I'd have to compare the two and look at it a little bit more. I thought it was last video, but I've seen some pretty good CK Chefs fighting me recently. So uh, for now, I'll just say that it's equal to DK Chef. Um, but still not as good as like OJ, CK, DK, CK, Necker and shit like that. Anyway, guys, that's all I want to talk about for this video. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments below on how good you think it is. I'll see you guys later. Peace.